everybody welcome back to my page not just here dot info today we are going to be doing bag three which is facials and hair removal so we are going to start out of course by number one thing cleaning your hands she's already draped and caped so you don't have to worry about that part now we're gonna put our headband on. Okay, now that our headband is on, the first thing we're gonna be doing is uh, facials. There are three of them. The first one is Effleurage. The second one is Petrissage. And the last one is, I think, Temperament. I think that's spelled right. I'm not, it, the, AKA at tapping is what they call it for sure. So let's get started. You have five minutes for this test. So. Petrissage is merely this. This is all you do to promote blood flow to the cheeks. It's almost like a pinching. I believe it's the Greeks used to do this. The second one is Effleurage. Is this. You're taking the balls of your fingertips, that's all, very lightly. And you're going in a circular motion slow and kind of relaxing all around the face. So that's Effleurage. Right, I'm actually going to put some pictures up with the names. Maybe you guys can pronounce it better than me. <laughs> and the last one is tapping, which is just merely you using your fingers uh, with one hand and you're tapping your fingers, not their actual face. And you're just going around and you're tapping. And there you have it. That's it for facials. You have five minutes for this procedure. Two or more mistakes in this procedure equals a fail. That's some more information I didn't put in other videos that I'm going to start letting you guys know. So, we're going to start from scratch and start out from cleaning our hands. Put on our gloves. Remember, she's already headband from the last uh, procedure. I'm going to commence to cleaning my tweezers. This is not mock. They do want to see you clean these tweezers. Unless that's changed. Again, you can double check with your with your instructor. When we did it, this was not mock. But again, we were actually pulling a hair. So you guys are not anymore. So this might be mock for you now. So just double check with that. But it can't, it can't never hurt to clean the tweezers because you have to do it in real life. So now my, my tweezers are clean and you're all supposed to, to pluck on the opposite side that you're standing. So I'm gonna do, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna do her left side. So you don't have to actually use the antiseptic now. Just act like you're putting that antiseptic thought on there and you clean your area. After you finish cleaning your area, you take another piece of cotton. Of course, you wouldn't take the same cotton. You would use a little bit of witch hazel on there. But again, mock now little witch hazel, moisten the area. Again, when we did it, we used live models, we had to actually pull a hair. So we would have to take a piece of cotton, wrap it around our finger like so. So once we pulled the hair, we put the cotton in, I mean the hair into that piece of cotton. So holding the skin taut, meaning both your fingers on both sides of the brow, and if it was a you know, real person, of course, you'd be pulling, have a, applying some tension there, pulling it. And you pluck your first brow, pluck, and you would put it in the paper. Now, I'm assuming that this is all going to be mock at this point, because now you have nothing to put in there. But again, check with your instructor on if that part has changed or not. But I'm assuming that this is going to have you go through the motions and just act like you're doing that. So again, pluck, put your hair in there, and then again with um, antiseptic, act like that, and you're going to apply pressure 
on those areas just in case there's a little blood irritation redness always a little redness when you're pulling hairs if you block that area um, the antiseptic will cool it off you have now finished eyebrow tweezing next up will be your lip hair removal which like I said comes right behind it so as I if I remember it correctly we never had to take off our gloves because they told you what to do ne next for the lip removal. For the lip removal, you have five minutes. So you have to have, a, I, we had to use cold wax because of course we had no way to heat wax up. Um, I had trouble finding it at first and then I eventually found it at a, a school not close, not far from my house. And it came like this with Muslims. It was a little pack. The school was selling it to their students, of course, to get ready for these tests. And my school did not. So I bought a little pack from them and it included the wooden sticks and the muslin strips. Before application of, that, of, of the hot wax on the lip though, we have to first test out how our wax and make sure that it's not too hot. And so you do that by a little wax on your spatula you put it right here on the inside of your arm. And as long as it's not burning you, then you know it's not too hot for, for the client. And then you throw that stick away. Don't let them see you use that same stick. Clean your hands, gloves or no gloves. <laughs> she already had her headband on, so you don't have to worry about that. We're going, only going to do half of a lip. So you're going to sanitize, sanitize the area. Mockly again, again. And you're going to sanitize that part of the area. So now that the area is clean, I'll take my wax. There's none in here anymore, but you know, like you open up your wax, bam. Take some of your wax on your spatula. Smooth it. It's nice and smooth as possible. Take your muslin strip, press it on, and kind of rub it on. One, two, three, and wham, you pull. After you pull, immediately, it could be witch hazel or antiseptic, a little bit of cotton, and you block. Make sure that, um, there's no blood, you know, and to help reduce as much irritation as possible. And you're all done now with lip hair removal. If you have any comments or suggestions, please put them in the comment box below. So until next time, we'll be back with our next bag, which will be bag four. And again, thanks for watching, and you guys have a good evening.